That is the Innocence Project of New York. New York. There is Innocent Projects um, a lot of other places, but um, the Innocent Project of New York is the one that is working on Darlie's case. This is actually the, uh, the uh, original Innocent Project, if I'm not mistaken, founded and created by Barry Sheck. Um, we have been in contact with him well, well beyond um, when they actually accepted the case, but they have been working on Darlie's case for the last four years, and they're doing an incredible job, and we are so very thankful for them. Emails, um, info at innocentproject.org. Um, if you are with the press, then it would be press at innocenceproject.org. There's the phone number, 212-364-54, I'm sorry, 5340. Let me read that again. 214-212, sorry, Dallas has an area code very similar. 212-364-5340. And then you can also write, uh, you can write them a standard snail mail if you would like to do that. Um, and you can remain anonymous. It, there is, if you go to their website, um, there is a, I'll include the website probably in the comments below. There's a website that um, you can submit right underneath this. You can submit a um, email and it'll go directly to them. So thank you guys. I really appreciate y'all. Y'all have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Good morning, TikTok. I wanted to jump on here as requested by Darlie uh, because there has been an increase in communication with the general public and the Dallas District Attorney, possibly. Um, there is a request that anybody that has any substantiated leads or, or very possible leads that any of that information be shared with the Innocent Project instead of Dallas. Okay, she's saying that there is a request. She's saying that there is a request. Where is this request coming from? The Dallas District Attorney's Office has access to media. They can do a press conference at any time. They can slip out and say, hey, we're working on this. But where, where, where is this request coming from? Is there a... a, 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 a you know, is there a written request? How come Dallas County DA is not reaching out to the public? How come after 27 years, 26 and 27 ass years, uh, the, the the Innocence Project has had this case for four years and they're reduced to asking the public for any kind of lead after four years? If there was anything substantial going on in that case, with the DNA and the testing and the stuff that they're that they're doing, they wouldn't need to ask the public. If they were so sure of her innocence, they wouldn't be coming. This is what they should have done in the first place. This is what they should have done in the first place, especially in 2002 when Darren started speaking about he asked multiple people and a person stole his Jaguar. They should be demanding. The Innocence Project should be demanding that Darren tell who those people are because he can't. The, and, and just as well as supporters can send in leads to the Innocence Project, non-supporters can send in things that we find as well. They'll, they're open to anything. They will, they will look at your mails. They'll, they'll look if you send videos and video links. I find this this is very very telling that the Innocence Project hasn't got a whole lot going on. Yes, you, know, you know, but let's listen 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 further. District Attorney's office. We we want all of the information that is being shared to go through one person instead of it going to two different people or two different groups and possibly being missed. Just like Darling supporters and people used to bombard J. Stephen Cooper's office with calls like this that she's asking for over the years. They used to bombard his office to the point where it drove him insane. He didn't like it. He didn't want to check every lead. He said that some of the theories that these people are coming up with just plain crazy. Read the cult of Darley. Ask J. Stephen Cooper yourself about people calling in with leads and, and emailing and, and, and coming, you know, with leads. 
after after all this time you're asking the innocence project to send stuff to the innocent pro- that means they don't have nothing that means they don't have nothing after four years and I've spoken ahead on other places that have backed away from Darley's case this sounds like desperation to me where has it been asked like, can we call the district attorney's office in Dallas and ask them that? Is there a public ask? Because she's saying that there is an ask being done. Is there a public ask in this case for people to have information, that have information? And maybe not being thoroughly investigated as we would want. Uh- See, now, the thing of it is, is Craig Watkins also investigated this case uh, I don't know, a few years ago when he was at Dallas DA and the the letter was that they thoroughly investigated and they looked at it all and the team was, was they were fine with the con- conviction. They were, they were sure of the conviction under Craig, Craig Wat- Watkins, the DA. So where is this ask coming from? Um, not that they would do it intentionally. They're, that's not their intention, but things can get lost in the flow of things and if there's not a specific person designated to follow up on all of these things it could potentially get lost so i'm going to include the innocent projects contact information she did that at the beginning of this video and that innocent projects contact information is available to anyone with information and if there's information that we have we can send it to them too and they'll they'll surely look at that as well if you do not want to be identified, you can write them and mail them information. There is also a website. They're just you- they're just open to taking anonymous information. This goes back to the Werner Herzog airing of uh, On Death Row with Darley. When supporters began to bother his production company with phone calls, ask her this, ask her that, ask her this, constantly calling him. That was the last episode that Werner Herzog did. Because of that reason, right there, because the supporters were pestering people. Darla Key used to do this to us as supporters back in the day. D- write to Innocence Project. You call them and tell them this and do this and do that. This is the pestering. This is, uh, you know, if, if, if you do that, you're just pestering. It seems like they have nothing. look at their they've got facebook groups but you can also look at their actual website and they have a place where you can submit an email their actual website i I, last time i looked it did not even mention darling as someone as a case that they're taking on product of new york remember the innocent project when they first took it on it was all hush hush we don't want them to know we've got this information and things are getting when the innocent project was picking it up now it's just anybody, mail in. Don't even leave your name. Just whatever you think, anybody but Darley. Go ahead, send it in, and distract these people. Four years they've had her case. And this is where we're at. It sure makes them look bad, doesn't it? Project of New York is the one that is working her case. Um, they would gladly accept any leads or that gladly accept remember that in your letters and emails that could help um with potentially solving this crime um i know i'm gonna catch some flack on this you're gonna catch some black on this because some some slack on this because you seem incredibly desperate with this if that innocent project has all those people and all those resources and they've looked into all these cases before four years now and you're asking the public to anonymously send tips, do you know what you're telling the public right now, Danelle? You're telling the public that the innocence project has nothing. In the comments, welcome to the real world. There is always going to be somebody that wants to tear apart whatever you're doing yeah like the conviction of darley routier we could look at it like this there's always someone that wants to tear down whatever they've tried to do and that's okay because um 
your words are not lost in it, so keep talking. And I do appreciate those people that want to continually question everything I say. And now she appreciates us, but she doesn't answer the questions. She's in our groups, and she doesn't answer questions that she can't answer. Because it does prompt people to look for themselves. I would never want anybody to solely base their decisions only on what I say. I would you see, and when I do my rebuttals to Danelle, I always, I always lead people to her TikTok so they can listen to what she's saying and then listen to what she's saying. She never promotes us. Never. She promotes us as haters. because had I seen this case 15, 20 years ago, prior to, what, as an adult, if I had seen this case and I had not experienced Darlie's situation firsthand myself, it is a really hard pill to swallow that. Danelle, we've got video of you coming out of the Kerrville how, uh, court after they found her guilty hollering, Greg Davis is a killer. And then we got video of you even younger, you know, uh, not long after that going, she's 100% innocent and putting your face in and you've done this ever since you were a child. Improperly processed. I don't want to say that there was. You're talking, you're talking about Rowlett improperly processing something while you're asking people to send anonymous tips into the innocent project. If they were sitting on something that was good, they wouldn't need anonymous tips. That means that they, to me, it sounds like they've looked at everything they can look at, and now they're dependent on you. And Darlie's saying, well, tell people to write in if they've got anything. Malicious intent, but it feels that way a lot. And so I have to be careful that what I say, I know that... It's not malicious intent. What we don't want is killers out on our streets. That includes my family. That's not malicious, you know. The court says she killed two of her kids. There's no evidence that shows that she didn't. It's malicious trying to get her out. Dallas County, um, now the current people in Dallas County are not like this. And I have seen and read multiple things about how they are diligently working to Greg, um, make sure that convictions. Craig Watkins had a, he had a team that was dedicated to looking at the convictions that they had. They, uh, they, they had a special name for that team. It's an integrity unit. And they looked at Darling's case the same way that they're doing this now. And they found that it was, that it was just. And there was a team that was dedicated to looking at convictions. From the 80s and the 90s and the 2000s are, are properly done. And um, like I said, this was already told properly done. I applaud them and their efforts. 44 people have been exonerated from Dallas County alone. I'm going to look that up. 44 people. Um, that's a lot. to make sure that everything is handled correctly. And so for that reason, everything needs to go to the Innocent Project. And um, I appreciate everybody doing that. And I even appreciate those naysayers in the comments. Um, I even appreciate the insults that you throw at me. Nobody wants to insult you. You're just a little bit too brazen, a little bit too matter of fact, when there is not very facts in the matter. Nobody wants to exert their dominance over you. Poor you. You're coming out here and saying this stuff. You're going to have people that challenge it. That's not dominance. You know, like I said, you chose not to speak to me, so I'm not messaging you, and that's fine. You, you see me doing that? I have a right to respond over here. Anyways, I'm going to include that right after this message. You can see where you can reach 
the innocent project and they will take down leads. If, if, it, if you're just like, oh, did y'all ever think to look at this? Yes, we, we probably looked at that. But if you hear directly from somebody that lived in the area or somebody that is connected to... Like Nelda Watts? Like the neighbor across the seat, the street? Gorsuch? Who saw Officer Waddell pull up and draw his gun on Darren, who was in the yard? He keeps saying he wasn't. Like Mercedes. Who the, that KXS has a clip of saying that the defense wanted her to lie. How about, how about we contact people that actually knew her? That's connected. That when she, they brought Darley back to the house after it was turned back over to him, Mercedes was worried about what Darley would think when she went in. And Darley took, took a look at that carpet and she said, it's going to cost me a fucking fortune to fix all this shit. People that know her? A potential suspect, and it is a validated potential lead. They lived in the area. They were known to, to create crime in the area. They had a history of violence. They, uh, whatever, you, makes you think that it's a significant lead. Please. People have rights to not be dragged in and questioned over a crime that happened so many years ago that someone else has already been convicted of. There really could be something to that story. There really could be something to the affidavit that Darren Routier wrote, but you're not pressing nobody to ask for the, those names of those persons. That's very, very inconspicuous and detrimental as to what people would do in your case to take the eye off of Darley. Anybody in the area, anybody that lived there, anybody that had a traffic ticket, anybody. So, somebody knows something. Somebody did something, and if they're still alive, then they've spoke about this to somebody. And you haven't heard about it until now? You need to ask around? So, anyways... Thank you guys. Happy Labor Day. Um, I'm not stopped. I wasn't able to post the other day. Uh, for two days, I couldn't post. You know, you got to admire her strength in standing up when she has so much to stand on. You got to admire her. Nobody hates this family. I mean, how could you hate that? Look at those eyes. How could you hate that? But just keep in mind that the Innocent Project can also be written to by us. Now, I want to check and see how many exonerations have been done in, in Dallas County. Let's take a look. Since 2001, there have been a total of 44 exonerations in Dallas County, according to the District Attorney's Office. 16 of those people were found to be wrongly accused for reasons that did not involve DNA evidence. Under Watkins' tenure, 24 people were exonerated. Yeah, that's good. That's good for them. So let's take a look. Now, Darley's case went over through over uh, uh, for Watkins did an investigation on Darley's particular case, and she was not one of those 24. But let's take a look. In D Magazine. Uh, okay, and this is what I spoke of on the 16 years ago, the Dallas County District Attorney's Office became one of the first in the country to establish a conviction integrity union, uh, unit. That's what I was speaking about, the integrity unit, just a little bit before. Craig Watkins, who served as district attorney from 2007 to 2014, made headlines locally and nationally by prioritizing exonerations of innocent people. And those exonerations came quickly. 24 people over his seven years in office. Most of these cases used DNA evidence to prove innocence. Since Watkins lost his seat in 2014, a number of people have uh, ha exonerated has slowed to a, a steady drip. There have been there have been eight exonerations in, in the last nine years. 
Harder, but not impossible. Non DNA stuff. You see, they've already been through this with her. Now, what they didn't have is an innocent project helping them when Watkins investigated. Thirteen were found innocent because of DNA evidence. In 2007, he ordered reviews on more over 400 more cases that had been ignored. So Watkins was all over it. The fewest were in 1990. Wow. That's a lot. There's a lot of innocent people in jail. Let's see. <laughs> that's funny I got a response from him I got a response from him 10 years ago and then they did look at the case and, and they gave her a writ that no they gave her this comes directly from uh, darlyfacts.com they were you know they were doing the same thing back in 2012 that Danelle's doing today They're, hey just let's let's write to the yeah, right to the DA. Tell them this, tell them that. They were doing this before. Cha-ching! And see, this is Bill Clutter. They were, they were urging people to call the DA years ago.